uh, there are many parents who've been uh, emailing me questions, and I have filtered a few questions which I will be asking you in every episode. Absolutely. So the question for today is: um, This mother is saying that the child is very clingy. Is okay. it a two-year-old boy who's always crying and clinging on to her? So how to deal with it? So clinginess is a huge problem. It has become a bigger problem now that children don't go out and they're always at home. Clinginess has two parts to it. Part one is the child's part. The child feels that I will not be able to survive on my own. I constantly need my mother to do things for me, to speak for me, and so on. So the Solution to this is to build the child's confidence, give the child self-esteem by helping the child do his own thing. So the child should be able to feed himself, put on his clothes, put on his shoes, comb his hair, do basic things around the house by himself. And that will give him the confidence that he can survive on his own. Also speak up for himself. Part two is the mother's anxiety. So the mother's always anxious when I want to go away, my child will not allow me to go away. That's the thought exactly. foremost in yeah. the mother's mind. And because of that, the mother is always anxious. She's always approaching the child with anxiety. The child senses this anxiety and the child doesn't know what the mother is anxious about, but the child feels anxious and therefore wants to cling to the mother and not let her go. So very, very important. Do not have this thought at the back of your mind. Always explain to your child what you need to do. Help Ask a child, do you want to help me with doing this or do you want to come sit next to me? Don't sneak away or go away from the child. If you don't think about going away, your child will not feel the need to cling to you. So that's how I think uh, would be the best way to approach clinginess in a two-year-old. Yeah, thank you so much for that. I think two points that I gather from this is uh, the transfer of the vibe, the anxiety vibe, uh, addressing that is important. Yes. And involving the child in what you do so yes. that the child is feels like he's a part of what you're doing and doesn't Absolutely. feel the separation. Absolutely. So thank you so much for this, Dr. Devita. In case you have many more questions, please email us. The email ID is yes. under this video. So see you all soon in the next episode. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.